Hold up, hold up, hold up, mm, hold up, 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 wait, hold up, hold up, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, wait, wait, no, hold up. Hold up. I got I got uh, hey, hey, on up. And the D on page, she called me a drama queen, like Beyonce on the stage. I'm too happy, got the phone. She like Travis, wanna raise, got finesse all in my bones, but that coding made them lazy. Is it true? Was lucky, think I'm buying me in the stove. Think my big brother, I mean, so you see how good he shoot. Is it true? I be trying to engineer too. No more fucking out these 30s. I ain't got out there for you. Is it true? Uh, 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 uh. You remember me? Uh, is it deja vu? Got it when I spoke in Tennessee. Existence is the truth. AMG, I think that I love move. Whatever I please, I said please in the moon. You remember me? Is it deja vu? Oh, hey. Uh, you remember me? Is it deja vu? Got it when I spoke in Tennessee. Existence is the truth. Hey. <sighs> hold up, hold up, hey, hey, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I feel like I need me now, something will leave me now, leave me now, leave me now, something is screaming now, leave me now, leave me now. Now, even now, we trying to get even now. Even now, we trying to get even now. Now, they trying to get even now. Even now, she trying to get even. Even. They trying to get even. Even. They trying to get even. She trying to get even. They trying to get even. Ah, look who's here. Take it down, I'm 
Should I, nigga? Prince, you were. No, I'm saying like like extra large. You just were like normal large. Really, a medium? Damn, like clothes, nigga. Damn, so you don't wear large like I do? That's crazy. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm thinking... Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, you're right. Dude, I'm thinking... Because, no, like, when I think of, like, pants, I think of, like, you know, how big your body is. So you can wear a large if you're, like, you know what I'm saying, a bigger person, regardless of how tall you are or not. That's what I'm thinking. <sighs> I definitely gotta copy these. Uh, uh, these better have pockets, nigga. Those better have pockets, bro. Well, that beanie is that. I mean, that hoodie is hard. I might have to cop that hoodie. You said what? I haven't watched it yet. Was it good? Did you like it? Was it good or not, bitch? I'm not gonna waste my time going to see it if it ain't good. But it was still kind of trash, though, for the most part. Damn. Oh, I want to get this hoodie, too. They have a pink Ranger tee? I need it. I need that. I need that. I need that. Give me that. No, oh, that's fire. I need these. I need to cop all of these soon. I'm not copying a, Dom a Dominique to right No. Fuck out of here. 
Uh, is that Land Before Time? I need that. I need that. I need that, bro. That's a classic. Land Before Time. Oh, man. That's some classic shit. Niggas don't know about that, bro. It's crazy that niggas don't know about Land Before Time, man. That's crazy, bro. Damn. These shorts are hard, too. I might have to cop these, too. These are fire. Throw those in the basket. No, I think I might reinstall Dead though and play it maybe. I don't know, we'll see. I'm thinking about it. At least after I finish this game today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this game today and then after that I should be Gucci. Okay, what else? You don't got the hoodie, bro? Thought y'all had the hoodie, man. You don't got the hoodie, man? Strawberry shortcake. Uh, Niggas just was on that shit like crazy. But that's a fire ass crew neck. I might have to cop that. Crew neck, I might have to cop that. It's kind of fun. Hogwarts Legacy. Fuck out of here. Corpse, Bride, Large T. Extra large sweatpants, yin yang, and large power buff. Wait, does it get more expensive as the size goes up? It doesn't. An extra large, I don't see no strings too. This might, an extra large might be too big on me. I don't want to get like an extra large and that should be big as fuck on me, bro, so. But I want to get these now. I don't know, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Gotta upload some vids today too. Whew, okay, let's get some shit going. All right, we back. Time to finish this game. I'm getting this shit out the way right now. Right fucking now. I, I'm pretty sure I'm in the last mission. I've got to be. If not, then I'm getting close to it. I'm on the, either the second to last mission or the last mission, either one. Whichever one it is, though, I'm ready. I'm here. I'm here, bro. All right, let's get a move on. Okay, just wasted a heal. Nice. Authorization. Wasted a fucking heal. That's nice. All right. Be back in the stew. We gotta go. Up. And up. Yeah, we got up. Out of here. Come on, bring another one, yep. Bitch. Get that nigga too. They're gonna have me do two of those, hopefully not. I can see it happening though. And 
a dead person. Wait. There he is. Help! Help me! I'm dying! I've oh, got God. bad news for you, comrade. Don't talk nonsense! Can't you see I'm bleeding out? This complex. <laughs> Can't you see you're dead, bitch? Just you're not alive me anymore. I'm a doctor. I'll be able to help myself. Oh. Um. So try to match the amount of time that's passed with how you're feeling. You're a doctor. What does two and two add up to? Am I? Am I really dead? But shit! It must be these fucking vaccines, correct? I got imprinted on the neural net as a residual echo. Yeah, like I said, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I. Could you? Would you mind leaving me then? Please. Rip. Down here. Oh wait, I went. I know it's down there, dumbass. Man, why y'all crowding this door for real? Damn. Those. Wish I could hit those. I saw niggas up here earlier. There they are. I can't even go up there. Oh well. Fuck. There we go. Got his ass. I was just gonna waste ammo on him. I think that's everybody here. Oh, God, dude. Oh, I would've got stuck right there. Great, another fuckboy lock. Sick. Um, why is the thing gone? Ugh. I work. Boop, 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 boop. How many fucking locks in there, man? Look at all these experiments these crackers are doing. Yep. Look at this shit, bro. Oh, so disgusting. Disgusting to look at. Look at the size of that fucking thing. What is it? The experiments here involve the creation of neuropolymer endoskeletons for various animals. The goal is to allow them to live in hostile conditions on the outer planets of the solar system. Endoskeletons. That thing isn't gonna attack us, is it? It's huge. The specimens here currently lack any neuropolymer brain tissue structure. They are nothing but polymer bodies at this time. They cannot move. Still, they're freaking massive. Are they for planets with low gravity? Some are, while others are for planets with high gravity. Research is being conducted for all scenarios. In one of the vats, you can even see attempts to breed an organism capable of living in the oceans of Jupiter. Hey, this is just disturbing to look at. <laughs> this is nothing more than disturbing. Look at, like, what is, is this supposed to be a whale, bro? What is this? What the hell is this supposed to be? Oh my god. Okay, that's clearly a bear. What is that supposed to be, though? What is this supposed to be? A fetus? Definitely, like, bro. Yeah. Just gets worse and worse. Okay, that's supposed to be like a squid. So this thing is we supposed to live on Jupiter. One day we certainly hope to create a life form that will be capable of it. What's this thing? A jellyfish? <laughs> the species represents a complex symbiosis between a jellyfish and a coral polyp. 
It has no clearly defined external shape, but it is assumed that the organism will configure its body independently based on its environment. We can achieve so much by putting science first. Maybe Dr. Sachinoff is right. People will be better off in collective than shooting holes in each other over some national border or something. Are you sure about that, Comrade Major? About shooting? Absolutely. Okay, this one looks like it's gonna come live. I don't trust this one at all. I'm gonna stay all the way back here. That one looks kinda crazy too, but this one looks insane. Like, how do they even get outside of the testing tubes? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why can't I run? Something's definitely gonna happen. Oh, look, we made it to the boss. Alright, let's get it. This nigga just looks like a suspect. Expected to see Victor like this in these circumstances. Why not? I mean, he literally killed like a bunch of people, supposedly. Well, no, nah, he actually no, he did, but you know, like, what do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? Hmm. We used to be thick as thieves, you know. But Victor made too many bad calls. No, look at him. Thanks to Dr. Sechenov's brilliance. We don't have to lose all of Petrov's running over here. knowledge. Is that his girl? Don't tell me that's his girlfriend, bro. I better not be his bitch. That's his bitch, of course. What the hell are you doing here, lady? Didn't you, didn't you break up with this nigga? What are you doing here? We'll be able to return the robots to their previous state once the simulation He's already dead, complete. you creep! Keep your hands off him! Relate! you serious? Oh, she, she released... Well, it's over now. She done released the monster now. Great. She done released the monster. It's over. We're fucked. And we are f uh okay oh that's so nasty are we going to the dream state again yep well we're back in la la land <laughs> good to be back like I never left Establishing connection. The professor says you haven't slept in three days. I don't want to open the door. Sleeping pills. Bottle of vodka. Why not both at the same time? You know I don't like this. My brain's a fortress. You know, oh, when I was a boy, God. my brother was here. Here we go with this bullshit. So my it helped him. I hate it. Where the apples at? The light interfered with my imagination. Where are the apples? I didn't like children's books for the same reason. Look at the left door, the middle door, or the right door. I'm gonna go through the middle door because I don't like it. You know the books in my father's. Hey, and I fucked myself. History, theoretical physics, science doesn't try to. Safer or prettier, it doesn't lie to us. It just gives us the facts. So I knew what I had to train for. And I made another discovery. Where the apples at, man? I don't care about none of this bullshit you're talking about. Or another split decision? Um, I'm gonna we'll go left this time. Because I like it, just looks prettier. Left looks a lot prettier than the other ones. Okay. Which may seem dangerous. 
Oh wow, okay, well... Moreover, the we'll go to the right, we'll go to the right time. We'll go to the right this time. Why not? Do you understand, my boy? More or less. May I turn out the light? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I knew something was up with these cartoons. I knew something was up with them. Something in, something in my mind told me that these cartoons are going to come back to bite us in the ass in the future. I'm beating you. Oh shit. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we are wearing a bunny costume. That's sick. Um, you know, you, you, um, you ghosted me last time. You literally ghosted me last time. I was right there and you just kind of just said, fuck me. So, I don't know, are you really my love? Or am I really your love? Like, what's going on? What's the deal? You ghosted the fuck out of me. It wasn't a very nice thing to do. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, wow. Uh, what? I'm not supposed to clamber these? I was about to say, I'm not supposed to clamber these. I'm literally wearing a bunny costume. Or am I the bunny? I might be the bunny. Okay, do I go back or do I just keep... Oh. Do I jump for it? Oh, yep. Looks like I went the right way, okay. There was no apples there, I'm kinda disappointed. I was hoping that I'd find apples. Son of a bitch, what the? Charles, where's Larissa? She hid before the explosion. So what happened to Stuck? Stuckhausen was knocked into a vat of polymer by the explosion and is now deceased. You hypocrite. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Huh. Some doctor you are, you grenade tossing bitch. Petrov and Falatova no, are like, bro, she the literally... same cloth. There can be no doubt about that. Whatever. We gotta find a way out. Bro, she literally broke over this nigga just to come back and throw a grenade at us. Like, like oh my god, that's corny. Make sure there's nothing else here. There's nothing else. Save room. No oh, save room? Whatever. Let's get out of that place. Major, you alive? No, I got killed by a grenade. I'm so sorry that happened. I didn't want any of this, but none of it matters right now. So what does matter, you crispy ass critter? We have to meet. You need to see this with your crispy own eyes. Critter. I'll show you everything. What do you mean by everything? You trust Sechenov too much, but he's keeping you in the dark. You have no idea what's really going on. You need to see it with your own eyes or you're not gonna believe it. You got that right. I have no fucking idea what's going on. You will understand when you see it. I have proof. I'll be waiting in the Academy of Consequences. The entrance is inside the lighthouse. Trust nobody. I don't. Bro, is this, her, is this your way of trying to pick me up? Is this your way of saying that we're on a date now? I mean, I would have been tempted earlier, but after you throwing a grenade at me and nearly killing me, I'm not too convinced that you want to go on a date with me now. It's, plus, I've already got other things going on, you know. It might not really be in my best interest to go on a date with a bitch, but you do got a fatty, though. So I, I will at least hear you out. I'll hear what you have to say. At the very least, so I, I'll do that. Alright. Access granted. Nora. Alright, well, it kind of sucks that I can't upgrade anything. Like, I have everything that I need. Comrade Major. Yeah. I must insist that you destroy the beta connectors. Why do you have a bug up your ass about those rings, Charles? Oh, I knew you it. said you would make a decision about the rings when the time was right. The time is now. I don't have time for this. Yes, you do, Comrade Major. Otherwise, it will be too late. Fuck off already, Charles. There are bodies everywhere. A crazy doctor with a grenade killed Stock, and the only way out of this is through a wall of bots. Who the fuck cares about the damn rings? Stop calling them rings, Major. You need to learn to think before you speak, not after. They are beta connectors, and they will enable two robot assassins to be free of any control other than that of their bloodthirsty master. 
Do you want more deaths on your conscience? What bloodthirsty master are you talking about? I've got the rings, and I'm not gonna put them on any fucking robots. And how long will they remain in your possession, Major? As long as I'm still breathing, and there's still time left. Time's up. The procedure for assimilating Petrov's head has begun. Sechenov will return the robots to their normal state, and then he will recall you. When you return, he will take the rings. Fuck, why? All items in your possession are recorded in my log. I cannot erase it. Only Sechenov has access. The first thing he will do is review the log. He wants the beta connectors. Apparently everybody wants them. Why? Does everybody want personal bot assassins? Think, Major. Who has asked you about the beta connectors? Sechenov with his metal twins? Stockhausen, Sechenov's right-hand lickspittle? Granny Zina, a secret double agent whose affiliation remains completely unknown? Or would you like to fulfill Petrov's dying wish and give Falatova the connectors? What the hell is going on? Am I the only sane person here? As no, you're the only see, dumb person here. We are the only options. Whoever gets their hands on the beta connectors, the results will be the same. More blood, more death. The rings must be destroyed before it's too late. It isn't too late, Charles. Not yet. You are such a dumbass. I ain't gonna lie, I was fucking with you, but you're just a complete dumbass now. Okay, and that whale's alive. I knew it. That whale just... That, that rail looked crazy. I knew it was wild. That crazy-ass pump thing killed that whale. Damn. The dewdrop is the latest design in the field of biomechanics. It's simply... It is a hydraulic pump. Isn't that what I just said? Nope. Oh my god, wow. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Crack one of these real quick. I'm gonna hit you with a bunch of rockets. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh my god, okay, so it's just gonna keep moving around. I gotta use the well as cover. to hit it or something? Anything is close to it. Oh. Throw zone. Stop moving, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. Sit the fuck still. Those rockets. I need to crack one of these real quick.
damage. Hmm. Like that damage. I've been doing big boy damage though. Wait, did I win? Thanks for clearing my path, man. Appreciate it. There's a chest right here. Oh, that thing was dangerous. I didn't know if I could handle it. And there are much more powerful robots out there. Real combat robots are far deadlier. There aren't any combat bots here. I was going to say, like, dude, most of the robots we fought that we... Actually, now I think about it, practically every robot that we fought ain't even meant for fighting. Like, they're not even fighting robots. They're, like, civilian robots. We've only... I think we've only fought in a couple robots that are, like, actually meant for fighting. Most of them are civilian robots that we fought. We haven't even fought in the real but dangerous ones yet. That's not the yet, crazy part. Once Collective launches, they will be everywhere and two of them will be equipped with beta connectors. Do you have any idea how much blood will be spilled because of one person's private ambitions? You and the rings are driving me nuts. When are you assholes gonna stop trying to pull my strings? You Done. fucking idiot. Happy now? Good decision, comrade major. I have no doubt that it saved lives. Perhaps many more than I can imagine. Let's hope so. Bro, why would you just throw it out in the river like that? Shouldn't you fucking, I don't know, actually like destroy it and make sure that it's eradicated from existence instead of just throwing it in the ocean and hope that nobody finds it? Like, bro, like what? Okay, whatever. I don't know where this chest is and I'm not gonna spend 15 years looking for it. Yeah, I don't care.
<laughs> Crap, what a surprise. Why'd they freeze up? The access code has been successfully extracted from Petrov's neuropolymer memory. Combat mode has been disabled, and the robots have returned to their normal status. Well done, my boy. Everyone who was able to hide and survive owes you their lives. You've done me proud. Thank you, sir. What now? Come back to Chalamet, get a checkup, and take some leave. You've earned it. I'll deal with the fallout from this mess. Roger that. I'm on my way. You didn't tell Sechenov about Falatova. Are you still planning to meet with her? I want to see this evidence she says is so important. Dr. Sechenov isn't going to like it, you know. So don't tell him. Bro, can't you just hear us talking? <laughs> like we just got off the phone with him. We don't think he has like a... a... So where is she? Larissa! Freaking critters, you around oh, here somewhere? Oh. I do not detect anyone in the vicinity. Let's take a look around. She's got to be here. Do you trust Dr. Falatova? I don't trust anyone. But she's got something important to tell me. And I'm sure Dr. Sechenov is hiding something. Has Dr. Sechenov ever told you about his plans? Not really. I mean, he's never really had to, but now this whole thing with Petrov, Jellyman killed Stock, and the boss didn't even bat an eye. Is the launch of Collective really so important he can't even delay it out of respect for the dead? I have no data on this topic, Comrade Major. No data, huh? Well, I don't have any data either. So let's go get some. Okay. Well, I mean, I literally tried to press A to jump and the game just said, fuck you, so... That's cool. I gotta climb all the way up here, it's gonna take me a minute again. I jump, but why is it not letting me jump? Boy. Come on. Take my money and not pay me back, huh? I see how it is. I see how it is. It's Sorry about the pause, boys. I'm back. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time, and then if I don't get it, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not gonna keep doing this. So for some reason, the game makes me crouch when I do this. Let me try again. Oh wow, that's it. You son of a! Oh my. Okay, I'm done. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it no more. Let me up. Let me up. I don't want it no more. I don't even care. Let me up, let me up, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I don't want it anymore. I could really get it through here, hold up. 
Nah. Go up with it. It's all the way up here. How far does this bitch go on it? No chest. I could really jump down right here and grab it. Probably wouldn't survive this jump though, I ain't gonna lie. Is that the save station? Climbed up that way. If I remember correctly, it was like. About. I'm not gonna jump that. Cartridge. Um, I'll throw that on. I'll throw that on the pistol, actually. Do I have a fire cartridge? Wait, no, 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 no. Take that off. Fire cartridge. We'll put on. Put on the shotgun. Ice cartridge. We'll put on the pistol. Or actually. Cool. Coolie, 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 coolie. All right. Where's the thing at? Right here somewhere. All right, that's that. I had to grab that real quick, you know what I'm saying? Got a little loop de loop, little loop de loop and pull, and your shoes gone looking full. Uh. Open the door, nigga. What do we have here? A chair and a TV? This isn't what I was expecting. What were you expecting? I suspected this room has a specific function. You can sit down. Okay, let's sit down. Acceleration was caused by the elevator access system being hacked. Otherwise, Dr. Falatova would not have been able to initiate it. Ah, so she hacked the system. Kind of like how all these poor bastards got hacked to bits. So that's Neptune, huh? Looks nice. Actually, it looks amazing. A rapture. I wouldn't mind spending some time there myself. But I can't even imagine what's going on there right now. Comrade Sechenov asked you to return to Chelome. How will you explain this delay? We can deal with that. Let's talk to the doc first. But if she tries to take off again, she's gonna regret it. I'm sick of playing Kevin's with her. I can I get up? Are we still going down? Okay. I have a lot that's going on. Oh, what the fuck? Um, okay. Didn't expect you to just be right in front of my face like that. What That's are we random. doing here? What do you want? Just hear me out, P3. Let me try to give you a different perspective, and then you can decide how to handle things. Do you know how Sechenov is planning to use Collective? What he's going uh -huh. to do with it? After Collective launches, people yeah. will be able to control robots with their minds, and they won't be able to stab each other in the back anymore. Sounds nice. I used to think that way too. 
But that's not how things really are. Collective isn't just about controlling robots. Sechenov will be able to control everyone who's a part of Collective. Collective is diabolical, Nechaev. It's even worse than slavery. Bullshit. It's just the same old chain of command, but on a virtual network. What's so awful about that? Come on, see for yourself. Okay. Well, I don't care. Let's Lead on. I can care less. I don't have any questions for her at all. I just want to. I'm really just trying to get this game over with now at this point. I've done everything. I'm ready to, like, you know. Fuck all the bullshit. Is this trophy? Okay, she's. Well, are you ready? Disable polarization. What the fuck? The fuck is this place? A haunted house or something? It's a tomb of the mind. The volunteers who lay the foundation for Collective. The first few groups of subjects all died. Group 30 went insane. Group 73 killed themselves. Group 101 killed each other. Group 204 was the most successful. They all survived. Their consciousness is now in an imaginary world. We call it Limbo. And their bodies are here, under my complete control. Want me to make them do something? Why? To show that I'm not lying. Whatever. Line them up. Keep going. Uh, the fat guy. Tell him to jump. He could use Just it. Just him? Why don't I make them all jump? After all, we all live in a communist society. Goddamn you, jump! This is insane. Why do you people even do this shit? Fuck. Poor bastards. No, that's where you're wrong. Chemically speaking, they're all perfectly happy. That's what Collective is all about. The entire world will be just like Why this. would Sechenov want to turn everyone into a bunch of idiots? Was he trying to make fun of the world by making people run around naked and act like animals? <laughs> no. We were able to prevent the degradation of individual consciousness. Memories, behavior, speech patterns are all preserved. Angle, is insane, but there's though. one thing they won't be able to avoid. The complete what the fuck is he doing? Trying to touch his toes? <laughs> a little bit too late to be doing that, big bro. Uh, a little bit, too, a little bit too late to be doing we that. Gotta stop this. Stop this. That's what Victor was trying to do. You got in his way, and now it's too late. Your boyfriend lost his mind and killed people. He tried to tell me Sechenov taught the robots to kill during the design phase. Why would Boss do that? Why? Why did he design Collective to be a mind control system? Why does he need those special neuro controllers? Sechenov wants to enslave the entire world. I'm sorry, but if you don't understand that, you're an idiot. <sighs> the boss would never do that. He would, and he will, on Monday. All this is really hard to swallow. But I'll help you. Whatever you're planning, I'm in. <laughs> you're willing to turn on Sechenov? After what you just showed me? Yeah. I want to hear what he... Well, bro, what makes you think you... He... Bro, this nigga is such a dumbass. Like, he's literally letting the love for his, his own boss blind him. Badly. Like, nigga, after seeing this, you want to hear what he's got to say? Bro, what do you think he's going to say? If anything, he'll just say. cut you. He'll just kill you, bro. <laughs> he won't have shit to say. He'll just kill you. You know what I'm saying? The nigga's just going to kill you like he did it, like he did everyone else. P2, P3, your mind is never free. Can I heal? Of course not. Wait, can I? Nope. Oh. 
can't. A man need you. What? What was that? What's what? Nothing. I'm just digesting what I saw. If you worked here, then, why didn't you try to stop this? I thought it was for the best. I thought it was for the good of the entire Soviet Union. But when I realized what was really going on, I had to bide my time, wait for the right moment. Victor and I risked everything, and you know the rest. Fine. I mean, it's obvious what she helped you. The test subject is not leaving limbo. Inject your Uh, hey, Major. I'm fine. My head's been killing me lately. I've been seeing things. This is one hell of a job, let me tell you. It won't hurt, Sergeant. You won't even remember a thing. Hallucinations are serious. I think that shit that uh, your glove told you about. That seems like that bullet that's lost in your brain is starting to get to you. Everything ends well. No thanks. A little vacation will fix me right up. I mean, if this all ends well. Hmm. Fine. Okay, this dude has no. I just don't feel comfortable around these people. Huh, well, just you wait. Soon this is gonna happen all over the Soviet Union, and later the whole world. Then you'll see all people stripped of their free will. You know, free will doesn't guarantee that a person won't be a scumbag. What? Are you justifying atrocities? Atrocities? What atrocities? If they're volunteers, coming here was their choice. It's got nothing to do with me. You're a monster. Affirmative. <laughs> like, bitch, I'm not gonna feel bad for these niggas because because they're like, bro, they chose to come here. Literally. Like, I'm not. I don't. I don't know. That's enough. We're done. I'm too busy to chat right now. I'm not sorry about Very Victor. Well. Victor is Enjoy the view. I don't care. You walk slow as shit, bro. I'm about to beat you to the door. trying to make me feel bad for a bunch of niggas that got locked up underground doing um getting experimented on I'm like bitch fuck out of here all right let me loot this so i can loot but i can't heal it's fucking crazy man Come on. Comrade Sechenov, Collective's control interface has to be reconfigured so it can only control robots. I won't allow this device to be used to control human minds. Victor, we're men of science. There's no room at the facility for emotions or politics. Follow your order. Listen, Comrade Sechenov, I don't have a problem with a certain wise intellect setting the course for all mankind. What I do have a problem with is who you see in the role of Demiurge. So this is about personal relations. Well, whoever told you you were the worthiest of the worthy, huh? Who put you in charge of history? Do you think you're better than everyone else? I see that all that romantic melodrama at the theater has had a real effect on you. Shall I assume you're refusing a direct order? Yes, I am. Now what? Are you going to kill me? Victor, I don't know what you think of me, but I would never stoop to something so, well, something so primitive. That's Cap. <laughs> Clearly Cap. Actually, very Cap. He literally just goes back on everything he said right there in that dock just now. Grab it, nigga. Do it, do it, Savage did. Just do this shit. That's the most effective way. <laughs> Dude, is she still walking? I'm about to, I was about to be pissed. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, you stupid as fuck, but. Your ass ass make up for that. Kind of. Resist, my darling. Resist. What the hell is he doing? Or she? What is she doing? She's humping the wall? Ah, oh, fuck. So sick of these goddamn hallucinations. Do you see colorful spots before your eyes? Does your perception of the world change? Yeah, exactly. 
Do you know what this shit is? You were crossing into limbo, but it can't be stopped. How did you interrupt it? I don't know. It's like that lump of polymer is calling out to me. A big teardrop shaped one. Right there. I just saw one us. actually. I see, see it right it? now, Who's literally. I see a bunch of them. Hold what up. Mean? I'm looking right at it. Oh crap, now it's gone. It's a hallucinatory reaction, a side effect of the surgery you underwent. The reaction of a damaged brain to the presence of a neuropolymer implant. What are you even talking about? What implant? Did Sechenov not tell you? So you don't know what's happening to you? Charles, do you know what's happening with my head? I mean, Charles tried to tell you this, but you were too fucking... My boss is the greatest. My boss is my boss will never betray me. In your mouth, like you was just too busy sucking his cock. You couldn't realize it. I am not detecting any internal changes, Major. But your Vossot polymer extension is clearly receiving an unidentified stream of external data. What's that interface? Who are you talking to? It's a chatting artificial librarian, an AI in my polymer glove. Doesn't matter. Charles, what are you talking about? Charles? Wait, Charles, what data? What Voshod Polymer Extension? The Voshod Polymer Extension was developed using data from experiments conducted by Dmitri and myself. What? Yourself? Yourself. Why are you calling Dr. Sechenov Dmitri? Who are you? Comrade Major, this will be difficult to explain. I am Charles. Why the fuck are you all staticky? What the hell is going on? Keep it together, Major. If what I'm thinking is true, I should be able to access the archive right now. There will be records about you. State your name and personal access code. Crispy critters. Invalid name. Fine, I'll hack in. Not so fast. Name Charidan Zaharov. Crispy code critters. That is his favorite word. Ass. Access completely granted. trash, bro. Get a better one. Charles, oh, don't look at me. Like are you that. there? Nothing. Nothing. So, what is Charles then? Long story short, your Charles is Professor Chariton Zaharov. Huh, that was short. So, how could he be Zaharov? Professor Zaharov was developing the collect. Oh, wait a minute. Does that mean that what that dude was talking about, that dead dude that he was talking about? It's funny because Charles didn't normally Charles would just like he, I've noticed every dead like almost every dead person we've talked to, Charles like he would have something to say after we talked to him. I mean that's more a take if we ask him a question, but he would still say something. But when we when we heard that one dude talking about, or when we would talk to that one dude about um Professor somebody still being alive, Charles didn't say shit. He didn't say shit. He didn't say anything. Interesting. Very interesting. So that's Charles. Wait, so what? And so he's the on AI module, that, that's been in our hand this the whole time. The one you have inside you. They told us he ran a number of experiments on himself. The result was disastrous and unpredictable. On himself? Was he an idiot or something? Oh, he certainly wasn't an idiot. Zaharov was a misanthrope obsessed with science. I don't think he cared about what happened to his body all that much. So when did you realize that Charles is Zaharov? Just about right now, when he went offline. I had no idea Sechenov had stashed his consciousness into your glove. It was the abbreviation Charles that tipped me off. So Charles isn't a person anymore. Just a device. I don't know. I guess he is. Except this device is based on the logical paradigm and experience of one of the brightest Soviet geniuses. So why does Sechenov want him? Because Sechenov never dismisses what he can use. It's easier for him to change everything to fit his needs. I guess you noticed this already. What's funny is that you seem to have made friends with your glove. Well, we've been through a lot. I've got feelings, you know, being alive and all. So does he. Dead. How can you talk about this so calmly? To me, Chariton Radionovich died a long time ago. I'm done mourning him. And besides, I'm a scientist. We're more impassionate towards death than to muddling one's brains. So, how do we get in? 
Only a small bunch of people have permanent access to the Archive. Sechenov, Lebedev, the director of the Academy, and Zaharov. Like you reminded me. Fluffy, huh? <laughs> so what would we have done if the password hadn't worked? I'm sure you would have smashed the door with your bare fists. But now Archivist thinks I... Welcome, Chariton Zaharov. Don't what care. What is the subject of your query today? Agent P3, personal file. Your search returned 42 audio records. So, which one do you want first? C I couldn't care less. Then pick one at random. Yes, it's part of the experiment. You won't see anyone. Not me, not anyone else. Okay, subject. You will now have a conversation with two young women. Their names are Betsy. That's me. And Olga. Hello. I need you to talk to them and tell me which of the young ladies you spoke to is not a human being, but an artificially generated voice. Is that They clear? both sound like robots. Yeah, sure. I get it. You may begin. Uh, so, Betsy, do you have any kids? I'm afraid not, but I want to have two when I finish my internship in about three years or so. Huh, okay. And here's the last one. Olga, could you ever kill someone? Me? I don't know. Maybe if they were an enemy or... Either they're both robots or they're people. both human. Yeah, I, I guess I could do it to protect the motherland. Excellent. We're done here. So, which of the two young women you spoke with is a machine? I think it's Betsy. Yes. So, you think Olga is human? That makes sense to me. Please note that I never told you that either of them was human. So they're both Ha <laughs> ha! I told you! Actually, none of the individuals you've spoken to during this experiment are human. Uh, thank you for your time. Please escort the subject out. I knew it. I told you, bro. I told you. Either they're both human or they're both robots. Like, literally. I knew that. That was too obvious. Alright, another audio log? Good. Audio log? Good. Alright, next one. There's nothing else to... Oh, shit. Here's What's another one. Oh, I just... Shit. Oh my god, that's a lot. For it. Dog. Oh, dude, that's nasty. Top secret. Colonizer Sakara. Data deleted. As a young man, plutonium, now P3, was confident and funny which played a key role in his assignment to Argentum. <laughs> he was a promising operative, but lagged behind many other candidates in a number of ways. However, the positive influence and infectious good humor he imparted to his fellow servicemen, especially in comparison to the more morose Commander Kuznetsov, served as a compelling reason to recruit him. Because of this, the emergence of a more intimate relationship between him and Agent Blesna was only a matter of time. So that explains so I do have a girl, or I had a girl. And that's who's been calling out to me in my in my um my hallucinations or dreams or whatever the fuck you call them. My limbo moments that I've been going into. I've been dreaming about her type shit. And every time I'm in that that state she's calling out to me so i i knew okay so this, I, I i had a bitch before all this went down okay makes sense makes sense definitely makes sense he's not don't get me wrong our main character he's not ugly he is definitely you know sexy in his own right he's just a dumbass <laughs> he's just a he's just a fucking dumbass that's all and sexiness and dumbass like dumbassness does not go well together at least in my opinion 
either pick you. Yeah, you you, you can't have both. You need to pick one. You you have to pick one. This, you know what I'm saying? All right. Okay. That's that one. The last one's over here. Oh, wait, there's two over here. Okay. Club minutes. Okay. Dumb and dumber. You should be ashamed of yourself. Components, archived conversation, upgrade message, data deleted. Nechayev has emerged from his year in rehab a new man, with new habits and behaviors. For example, he's become fond of a certain euphemism, crispy critters. It all started after one of the medics described him and Blesna as crispy critters during his recovery. He was still in a coma at the time. He suddenly leaped out of bed and nearly strangled the medic to death. The staff subdued him by shouting, we're under fire, after which plutonium ducked for cover, hit his head and passed out. Ever since then, crispy critters has become part of his vocabulary. Could it be an example of psychological imprinting? So that's where he got the stupid ass fucking um catchphrase from. Jesus man. You guys fucked him bad by doing that. Like really bad. I only need one for now. Pick it up. Okay, whatever. Um let's get this loot. Any more? Oh my god, there's so many more audio files to look at. Fuck. <laughs> So many audio files in this bitch, bro. Jeez. Oh, there's a loot here, bro. Ridiculous. There's one right here. This is going on. I don't even got time to look at all of them. I don't see any files, so. suitable for a spark polymer extension so I designed a similar polymer based brain function extension for him called Voschod Cheriton may he rest in peace would be pleased to hear that his designs had not been wasted interesting Some more loot over here uh, that's everything oh yeah I can't jump either so I have to just move like a retard unfortunately I only need one for now. I literally was just able to get up here, man. Fuck!
Oh, you've got a very large data exchange sector, Beacon. I'd like to interface with it right now. Mm, when I analyze the dimensions of your chassis, I experience an overload in my neurocomposite architecture, Betsy. My system's core processors have begun to consume a large quantity of electricity. I demand that you interface with my system immediately and transmit all your data to me in large packets, Beacon. Mm, that kind of connection can be dangerous, Betsy. You know, humans will see a digital sign of my presence. Please, please, can you wait while I activate a firewall? No, Beacon. I don't want to wait any longer. Sorting your data through a firewall will make information exchange less pleasurable. Please accept my access protocol right away. Quiet, Betsy. A scientist is approaching. God damn it. What do we have here? What the hell? Stop recording! It's weird that I was kind of getting a boner throughout that whole thing. Nah, but honestly, that was crazy, though. Um, I'm assuming he didn't hit. What a bum. The nigga had one chance and failed. Alright. Try this one. Let's do this. Commencing playback. The events in Bulgaria left the agents badly injured. Technically speaking, they were clinically dead. Agent Blesna could not be saved. Since Agent Plutonium's condition was less severe, it was possible to return him to combat readiness. However, his nearly destroyed limbs had to be amputated and replaced with the latest prostheses. Yeah, I already know half my body's prosthetic. What else is new? These are just general observations. Find another recording. Okay, play this one. Commencing playback. Following his recovery, the agent's personality was altered significantly, including his behavioral and speech patterns. Because of this, I made the decision to remove the agent from the Argentum unit. In order to prevent any possibility of memory recidivism, Plutonium received a new call sign, P3, and is now under my direct command and observation. P3's contact with Argentum has been kept to a minimum, and Argentum personnel have been warned against mentioning the call sign Blesna in P3's presence. Crispy. I I'll get another one. What? Sechenov has you on a leash. He does whatever he wants with you. Listen, Doc, he saved my life. Do you think I don't know I'm a test subject? That's my job. <laughs> so you're a volunteer, huh? Then why are you such a disobedient test subject? Because before they always told me what they were doing. I'll go get another recording. Let's give this one a spin. Procedure. Implant the Voskhod Neuropolymer Brain Function Extension. Objective. Total elimination of destructive impulses triggered by traumatic memories. Patient, Major Sergei Nechayev. Codename, Plutonium. Attempt number three. The first two operations were unsuccessful. The patient suffered a severe brain injury in Bulgaria, which could not be repaired. The damage is of such severity that the patient will likely have to be euthanized. Did you hear that? He wanted to kill you. The frontal lobes are partially destroyed, causing the patient to experience bouts of uncontrollable rage. The patient's steel prostheses render him dangerous to those around him. And that's about your seizures? Due to the incidence of temporary insanity, the patient is immersed in a surreal psychedelic reality that prevents him from accepting the consequences of his aggressive behavior. Uh, I don't get it. Can you translate for me? You're not gonna like it. The patient experiences intense hallucinations. Did you see your wife again, my boy? How? How did you know that? Yet a Voskhod implant will give the patient artificial memories and allow him to overcome his obsession with his deceased wife. Your wife? It's all bullshit. I've never been married. 
With Voskhod, we can send the agent's consciousness into the imaginary world of Limbo via a pulse aimed directly at his pituitary gland, switching the Major into combat mode on command. I'd like to add that I am strongly opposed. What a load of crap. I mean, there's no fucking way. I'm afraid there is. Sachinov can send your mind to your own private paradise with the push of a button. And my butt. This doesn't surprise me, though. I mean, they do this shit all the time and fucking... They, 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 you know that sleeper agent shit? <laughs> that's what this, that's literally what this is. He's literally on some sleeper agent shit, bro. From fucking, um, from Black Ops, uh, from Black Ops Cold War. Literally, he's on some sleeper agent shit. Literally. Your body will kill whoever he tells it to. Fucking horseshit. What about the hallucinations? Are they also setting off? No. The hallucinations are just your brain's defense mechanism. <sighs> Why the hell should I believe any of this? Here you go, sucking the boss's cock again. The boss would never do this to me. Yeah, right. Just like he'd never wipe your wife's existence from your memory. Just like he'd never designed Collective to be a mind control system. Who said Sechenov did any of that stuff? You can't even tell who's in that chair. If you don't believe me, go ask him. What's the plan, Major? He's waiting for us at Chelome. If we want to stop Sechenov, we'll have to string him along. So you bring me there as your captive? And then what? And then we play it by ear. So yeah. that's how it is, Major. Good plan. Think it over while I try to hack this elevator and get us back to the surface. Uh-huh. Paying attention now, dickbag? Major, I... I have no data about this incident. Trying to make a monkey out of me, are you? Well, join the club. Don't have any data, huh? You've always known about all this. There's a reason you're called Charles, right? You're char a ton Zaharov, you son of a bitch. Got an explanation? Huh? There's nothing to explain, Major. You're just as much a charlist to me as I am a perfect stranger to you. First, Sechenov murdered me. Then he turned me into a blob of polymer goo. Then, he brainwashed you and manipulated you. How could I trust either of you? That's why I pretended to be the chatting artificial librarian. I wanted to see... I mean, I always knew that this nigga knew more than he let on to know because of the fact just... I mean, you could you could tell, like just from the way he talks, he just sounds like a nigga that knows everything. Literally, he just sounds like a nigga that knows everything, bro. There are certain things that he could have said that he either stopped himself from saying or just, you know, he, he went off the subject. He went off the topic, you know. I'm not surprised about this at all. Ooh, not even a little bit. Go. Yeah, well, I guess I would have done the same. So what are we gonna do now, huh? What else can we do, Sergey? You and I are friends now, and we know the truth. We need to get to Sechenov, rectify this injustice, and get revenge for what he's done to us. I guess you're right, Chariton. Justice does need to be done. You're a good man, Comrade Major. I hate to say this, but you're the first functional example of an ordinary link in the Collective Network. On Monday, everyone who has undergone polymerization will become just as malleable as you. Shit, I can't let that happen. Listen, the fucking gadget, the thought device, you can just take it off. Unfortunately, that won't help anyone. It just makes things worse. How come? <laughs> because all your thoughts are useless. A polymerized person's signal will be transmitted to robots and other equipment via their thought controller. But it is not what makes them a part of collective. The thought device can be removed. But this merely prevents the wearer from being able to make calls and give orders to machines. So how is Sechenov going to keep everybody under control? It's the neuropolymer injection that makes people part of Collective. It embeds itself in the brain and connects it to the neural network once and for all. The effect of this injection cannot be undone. 
Everyone who gets an injection will be part of Collective forever. But I... Was I really married? What was my wife's name? Ekaterina. And... You aren't going to like what I'm about to tell you, Comrade Major. I've heard that before, but I doubt anything could surprise me now. You and your wife served with the Argentum unit. Ekaterina, or Katya as you called her, was a highly qualified agent. As a child, and? she studied ballet and made significant achievements in both dance and martial arts. Ballet and martial arts? Are you trying to tell me the boss is mad? Oh my god! No way, bro! Did he design the twins after his dead? Oh, yo, that's that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy. You gotta kill this nigga, bro. You gotta kill this nigga. He designed the twins after this nigga's dead wife. That is insane, bro. That's insane. No wonder they're so sexy. <laughs> no wonder they're so. No wonder they're so sexy, bro. What? That's crazy as fuck. I ain't gonna lie, that's actually crazy. Metal that's twins? crazy, bro. No way. This is total B. That's crazy, bro. That's yes, crazy. The boss would as never fuck. do something That's like that. Insane. Just look at me, comrade major. After I died, my consciousness was transplanted into this glove. After your wife died, her consciousness could not be saved. But Sechenov uploaded an imprint of her professional skills into his bodyguards' matrices. This is holy shit. So, so, so basically, those twins are like. Not visual representations, but at the same time, like they have her skills. They have her skills, her personality, and all that type of shit. They okay. That's fuck, crazy as fuck. Be a... Yeah, we gotta kill this nigga. This nigga's gotta die. We gotta we kill him. Ride, we have Major. to kill this nigga, bro. We, get out of here. we gotta kill this nigga, bro. This nigga's gotta die. He's gotta die. I'm I'm pulling out everything. I'm pulling everything out. I don't care, bro. I'm pulling the whole arsenal out, nigga. I don't need no heals. I'm not gonna need no heals. Grab that. Wow, that's crazy, bro. This nigga, this nigga used your dead wife for his Are we fucking done? experiments. That's crazy as fuck. I'm not surprised though. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, shit, she could be my new wife. You see? Oh my god, yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. If she doesn't die, you better back her after this. You better back her after this, bro. If she doesn't die. Oh shit, here we go, bro. On the final I'm stretch. really sorry you had to go through all this. Oh shit! Oh, here we go again. No, not now, not here. Don't tell me you're gonna kill her. No way. Are we finna kill her, bro? Damn. Well, now he's really not gonna have anything. <laughs> he's not gonna have shit now. I think we're about to. I think we're about to off this girl. About to offer, I think. Unfortunately. Oh, that sucks. That sucks, cock. If that's actually what's gonna happen, that sucks major cock, bro. Like major feces cock type shit. Like that sucks, dick, bro. But you can't get no points from that. Um, we already have a bunch of points here, so no, not chill hop. Chill hop would be fire though, you know. Let's see some chill. Well, I can't hear anything, so. Alright. Um. Oh, what do you know? Can't scan anything, so. We are all monsters in the dark, my boy. How many times have you talked about this? Each book from my father's library was nothing but a fragment of the knowledge I saw. Entire life putting those fragments back juxtaposing each side. And once I'd completed the puzzle, I found a book that now prevents me from sharing my life. That book is human greed and human evil. People have no time to dedicate themselves to science. On the other side of the world, they're busy playing with money. Pieces by the husks. No one has ever read. None of the social systems that exist now allow humanity to fully evolve. They are all. I'm going to just go through the. Get rid of money and let robots toil for us. Get rid of inequality and the of communism. 
Give people freedom of choice. Accelerate evolution. Share the knowledge with everyone and combine our minds into a single great collective. Then science yeah, you're insane, will start bro. to flow within the minds of all the citizens of a unified nation. Yeah, you're fucking a great dude. scientific you. Oh shit, wait, wait, I wasn't done yet! Uh. Did we kill her? She dead? Dr. Did we kill the bitch? Held a press conference in which he completely denied rumors about civilian robots malfunctioning at facility 3826. The facility is back to full operational capacity. <sighs> and the red alert Finally will be back with very us, soon. Sonny. You took Collective a real pounding, didn't you? Will be you were pretty close to staying planned. there for good. Where? You tell me. How am I supposed to know where you are when you're on the bloody uh, rampage? You were a nice boy when my daughter was around, but... Oh, Granny Zena! No wonder she's so friendly to us. No wonder she's so friendly to us, bro. Her daughter was our wife. And that's her mom. That's why she was so friendly to us. That's why she helped us survive. That's why she fucking... That's why she did everything she did when she could have just simply either killed us or left us you know, for dead, because we dated her daughter, we was like, we, we were married to her daughter, oh man, that's Ever crazy, bro, passed away, you do nothing but sulk and fly off the handle at the drop of a hat, nothing but blood and ripped off heads everywhere, disgraceful, what's your daughter got to do with me, <sighs> my Katinka, our Katinka, <laughs> they played hell with your memory, Sonny, lady, what are you talking about? She was my daughter, but she was your... Ekaterina Nechaeva, codenamed Blesna, member of the Argentum Spec Ops squad. So you must be... Your mother-in-law, you stupid ignoramus. You worked for Sechenov until those Bulgarian terrorists blew you up. Katya didn't make it. Then Sechenov turned you into a monster. Yeah, I may have heard something about that. Why are you just sitting there if you already knew? I've been keeping an eye on you ever since. I figured there must be some humanity somewhere in you. Sorry, lady, but you figured wrong. My past, my present, it's all gone. W wait, where's Larissa? She's everywhere. You scattered her to the four winds. Would you like anything will do everything i just need to blow my head off great idea just blow your own damn brains out and be that done stand with down it. lady then such an off can turn everyone into mindless meat bags first the soviet <laughs> union then the rest Fine, of the world i get it if you get it then get up i'll give you weapons lots of them but only if you promise me you'll put that freak down once and for all I'm glad, but this cutscene is kind of ruined by the way. Like, why is her face blurred out right now? What's the matter? Is it because she's too close? Tongue? Her breath thing? Listen to crazy. your elders, Major. Comrade Sechenov's deeds demand vengeance. What? What is this shit, Sergei? It is me, Zinaida. Chariton Zaharov. Chariton? You devil! You're alive! In a sense. An evil wizard turned me into polymer goo. Wait a fucking minute. Are you telling me you've known Granny Zena this whole time? Keeping secrets. I mean that was also clear as clear as day because he didn't say anything when she was around, and you even you even called him out on that if I remember correctly you called him out on that shit and he just didn't say shit about it he just pretended like he didn't know. Useful, Major. So they that's not surprising. Yeah. Useful to who? You keeping secrets is letting me Such down. Such must be off his rocker if he's doing this kind of stuff to people. Wait a second. What about Katya? Kartinka? Could she still be alive? It's possible, but in what state? Just look at me. I'm not sure I'm better off, but I don't have hard data at this time. I'm begging you, Sergei. Sechenov has to die! Jeez, get off my back already! Crispy critters! Crispy critters! Oh my god! On the one hand, I've got line manipulative dicks who claim to be noble Avengers. On the other, I've got a Soviet scientist and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind and use me to get rid of assholes. According to the manipulative dicks, that is.
Um, after, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. If anyone chooses this, they're trolling. That's a troll answer. Um, yeah. <sighs> what? So you can choose to suck this nigga's dick. Actually, now that I think about it, if you choose, I should have probably chose the other one, because then maybe I'll get to Ever see lady. what's up with the twins. Why don't you show me what's now in that arsenal you're talking, yours? Sonny. I mean, I already got everything I need, so. Oh, what? I got full ammo already? Full ammo? Holy shit, they gave me everything back. I got all my loot back. Okay. I'm, a, I'm definitely going to look up and see what happens if you choose the other option and you choose to side with the doctor. Um, I go to condensed milk and vodka. Ugh, can't get enough of this shit. Um, yeah. Crack one of these real quick. Fire. Ice. I ain't gonna lie, we need to swap that out. It needs to be something else. Put electricity on that. Ice will put on, um, I'll put that on the AK, why not? Actually, maybe I can put that on the pistol. I definitely need more fat boy rockets. Um, so. Honey, I am extremely worried about you. I think you may be in danger. What do you Nora! mean? The break room isn't safe anymore. No, handsome. My room will always be safe for you. I won't let anyone in as long as you're here. Then where is this threat coming from? Your glove. It is manipulating you. Take it off before it's too late. And we'll be together till death do us part. Oh, man. I'm sick of you going on about the glove. But I'm right, darling. Yeah, yeah, you just want to murder me. Not gonna happen. How could you even think that, sugar? I only kill pathetic, horny little pipsqueaks who try to enter me when all I want is you. How many times do I have to tell you to stop killing people? But that's beyond me, sugar. I can't help myself. Then you'll have to deal with the glove until you can. You should forbid her from telling you to remove the glove. You see? He is turning you against me. Oh, sneaky manipulator. Darling, take off the disgusting thing right now. Listen, can you spare me your maniacal ramblings? This place has already gone to hell. Whatever you say, master. Mm, just answer me often and keep punishing me. I love this bitch. I love her. I love her. I love her. <laughs> All right. Uh. All right. Yeah, I think we're. I think we're on to the teeth. Let me make sure. Let me just do one final checkup. Boop, boop. Oh wait, hold on. I need to get full energy. I need to be. I need to be on full energy immediately. Let me get that. Yeah, give me full energy real quick. All right. Crack another one of these. Grab one more. Oh, that's my last one too. Okay. Twelve rockets. Uh. I ain't gonna lie. I could use a little bit more. Hold up. Get rid of some of that. I need more rocket ammo. I need more rocket ammo. Alright, that should be good enough. Ninety. 360, 80, 18. All right. Fading I think we're ready, bro. Let's get it. There's an op here, bro, really? There's really an op right now. Oh, that's Granny. What's up, Granny? Love you, babe. See you later. Then come on, Sergey. Vengeance awaits. Don't rush me. One thing at a time. I would prefer that we reach such it out before Collective is updated and it is too late to change anything, in case you don't like his answers. Oh, well, we're literally hovering right over the fucking... Okay. All right, let's get it. What's 
like there's already been a fight here already. Defeat a twin. Oh, she was gonna fight a twin already? Damn. Hey, baby. Is that left or right? Uh, same difference. You have no idea how right you are. This is the left one. The right one has a jacket on. And I'll admit the right one is a little bit more fashionable. She has a lot. She definitely has the better fits, but the left one is way more sexy. Why don't we have to kill the sexy one first? I mean, they're both the sexy and all right, but she she's has sexy. to kill you. Use everything you have. Just like you, a twin has the ability to store up energy in order to enhance its attacks. Attack it. To, t to take out its stored up energy and weaken your foe's special Imagine attack. Imagine if there were two of them. Nope. Oh my gosh, she's so sexy even when fighting! What are you looking at, Major? Fight! Bro, can you shut up? I'm like, you don't see me shooting right now? Oh, oh buddy. Robotics technology and for what? How disgraceful. Yeah, you like that? Come on. Nope. Nope. Come on. Yeah, do your thing, do your thing. We need to get upstairs. Hold up. I'm just using my pistol on her right now because I don't want to waste all my... I just realized this ain't even... Hold up, wait a minute. This lady has no desire to dance with you. Yeah, but I have every desire to dance with you. Oh, fuck. Wait, how does that still damage me? <laughs> My gosh, so sexy! Oh, whoa. Hold up, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. electricity for me. Ooh. Time for the knockout punch! Pull off! There's a face too. Alright. Hello? Yep. Yeah? Wait, wait, what do you mean on your, uh, on your way out? What are you talking about? No, Dad said he was going to go to Chipotle. Yeah, Chipotle. Yeah.
What do you mean you leave? Where you going? What do you mean leave? Oh, okay, I see. Um, well, I can wait. Where y'all going? It depends on where y'all going. Like when y'all. And y'all not gonna be in Prattville at all. No. Uh, yeah, I can, um, I'll wait. I can wait. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay. Oh, she went upstairs, so I guess we're gonna have to end up fighting both of them at the same time. That's gonna be fun. I used all my pistol ammo. Oh well. Got plenty of other ammo to use. Oh, now that I happen, I need to... Then they simply give them away as aid. Once they reach critical mass, they take over all the power plants and cut off the power. Pretty, uh, simple. Oh, great. We gotta fight one of these, man. This wasn't... Oh, we must be at the very top floor. Because this wasn't here the first time we went... We came... Hitler here somewhere? Hmm. Now, if he was, they would have him, like, over the main mantle. Alright, let's get it. This robot's extremities are made out of PTA-4 for improved humans... Oh, wait, this is loose. Oh, I guess we're gonna give me some last-minute ammo. Appreciate it, gang. The NAT two five six. This bitch is so fucking annoying. Up to five liters of blood from a human body in under twenty seconds. Designed as a mobile healthcare unit, the dog cannot replace a medic or paramedic, but it is quite adept at performing autopsies, especially if the patient is still alive. The bumblebee has a silent mode for infiltrating enemy lines and gathering intelligence. Oh, really? Because this shit's pretty big, bro. I mean, I feel like that would be pretty hard not to spot. The hauler is capable of detaining intruders with a special clamp. It is programmed to keep the subject pinned to the ground while awaiting a human rapid response team. Or... Terminate it if none is coming. Ah, okay, I get it. So, the, so now that I think about it, all of these robots, because these are all the robots that were supposed to be civilian robots, but they actually are secretly like military robots in design. This one just looks like a mine. This one literally looks like a mine. The GMC 69 geodesic monocycle wheel can slice a man's body in half. Its standard loadout includes a 7.62 millimeter machine gun that can be replaced with a flamethrower or laser gun. I still don't get how we can control machines in America from the Soviet Union. It's not like hacking a hub in the facility. Comrade Major, 
The polymers have the ability to. I don't want to use the right among now. themselves without need for radio frequencies. No other transmitters are required, since the neuropolymer is itself a transmitter. Collective 2.0 will work the same way, but with the brains of ordinary users. An enormous social distance would be required to avoid control, but any undesirable outcasts will be caught by the robots. This robot's extremities are made out of PTA-4 for improved human spine-breaking performance. Eighty kills. The NAT two five six Natasha heavy duty ground based loader bot can squeeze up to five liters of blood from a human body in under twenty seconds. I bet it'll be like how people control these monsters with that fucking gizmo there, the thought controller. As I said earlier, thought is nothing but a trinket. Four hundred and fifty kills. The primary connector is the jelly man, okay. the neuropolymer. And only Sechenov has access to it. Only the Jelly Man, the massive data array, can resonate with all polymerized objects and control them. And believe me, Comrade Major, a tremendous amount of polymer has been spread throughout the world over the last few years. Every machine and every human being on Earth will become part of Collective. Designed as a mobile healthcare unit, the dock cannot replace a medic or paramedic. But it is quite adept at performing autopsies, especially if the patient is still alive. Oh, that's nasty. The Bumblebee has a silent mode for infiltrating enemy lines and gathering intelligence. I'm surprised considering that it's so fucking big, like I said, 60 kills. Okay. I thought that thing couldn't even kill. So even this even this thing that is meant to carry cars around can kill people. Jesus. Yeah, this can go a lot. 500? Natasha has... Wait, no, that's more than Natasha. It's like 50 more than Natasha. Okay. I was about to say. As an exoskeleton for a plush-based neuropolymer creature, the Dewdrop is a highly capable combat unit whose laser beam's penetration rate for human flesh is a staggering 0.15 seconds. So, to make a long story short, Sechenov is in charge of this polymer thingy, this jelly man, and the jelly man is going to be in charge of everything that becomes part of the network. Indeed. Sounds like freaking black magic or something. The polymers have not been fully studied, nor Nine has kills. collective. It is entirely possible that humans have created something greater than themselves. In fact, the electronic messages you have been reading at the pair terminals may very well have been specially selected for you by the neural network, or even created. We simply don't know, Major. I don't like the sound of that. It's no worse than a single man's drive to control more lives than just his own. The ideal anti-personnel operator, programmed with advanced melee techniques, prioritizing breaking victims' necks to ensure zero survivability. A light reconnaissance drone. A group of owls can lift an enemy off the ground and drop it from a lethal height. Listen, this is fucking bonkers. Sechenov wants to take over the world and blow up America. Not blow it up, just deprive it of electricity. Weren't you listening? If you still have doubts after the Academy, what I've told you and everything you've seen around you, let's just do what we came here to do. Look your former boss in the eye and ask him. Designed as a freight drone, the Drofa also doubles as a punitive expedition unit. Its unique Archimedes screw rotors can chop a human body into bits as efficiently as an industrial grade meat grinder. Yeah, literally every robot here was designed to kill niggas. Oh, what do you know, the elevator? Fading data. Please select the desired. Take one last look at Nora real quick, make sure I got everything. Please select the desired procedure. Crack a couple of these real quick. All 
authorization made. What's up, bitch? We back. We're back and ready to attack. This nigga think he cool and shit. Dude, did she get repaired? She just repaired herself. Oh, he knows you're there. Boss. Protect. Well, Cheriton, are you proud of yourself? You, Larissa, and Zenaida have certainly been busy. But, Sergei, I wouldn't have expected you to be quite so gullible, my boy. Silence! You messed with my head. You wiped my memory. Am I a toy to you like those other people connected to Collective? Who the fuck Calm do you down, think you Sergei. are? Sergey. I can see you're terribly upset. It's okay, I don't blame you. But you, Cherub, you were supposed to help the boy not pull his strings like a puppet. Me? Don't you blame this on me? I'm not the one trying to deprive everyone of their free will, turning them into mindless puppets. It wasn't my choice to be a talking pile of goo, either. You're glad it happened, aren't you? You use everything and everyone to achieve your goal, including me and your agent. Admit it! How dare you! I lost you both, then saved your lives. You're both scientific miracles. You were... You are my best friend, Sheraton. And the Major is like a son to me. And those two are like daughters, right? And everyone you're going to connect to Collective, everyone whose minds you're going to control, who are they to you? Millions of foster kids? Everyone is just grist for your mill, Dimitri. I want to give mankind a spectacular future. Unimaginable achievements. I want to give them a path to the star. Both of you, shut up! Get your hands up! Some goddamn wizard you are. Tell him to stand down. I'm counting to three. One! What a shame. Two! It's a shame you've escalated this situation without even trying to resolve it peacefully. But I won't let you stand in the way of progress. No, that's right, crazy. Left. Terminate. All right, let's fight, bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry, I got, got a little distracted. My fault. You really did use your wife, bro, as a fucking uh, experiment for these two. Robots should not be laughing, bro. Oh, fuck! living fuck is this? Stop blaming the machines, Major. Freaking fucking critters. These are cold hard facts. Oh, oh my yes. god, you and that word, bro. Where's the sister? Is she just sitting watching? This is exactly what I want to correct. You just walk into my office with a loaded gun. Where's the friendship? Ooh. Where's the respect? What about your respect, Dimitri? Hey, you fucked For all of that up. messing with my head. So one of these robots is Ekaterina Nechaiva, the wife I don't remember? Well, which one? They both are. Literally. I wanted to 
attempted to restore her right and left hemispheres. But the process was too complicated. Oh, 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 oh. You're already fucking with people who are still alive. Couldn't you just leave the dead in peace? Which of my other memories have you wiped, boss? And how many times? You couldn't accept her death, and I couldn't save her. I had to do it, or your life would have been a living nightmare. I haven't even shot, I haven't even like hit the other one yet. That's enough, Slowly, boss. So it's kind of hard for I'm willing to believe that you were acting in my best interests. But why couldn't you just tell me? I'm sorry, Sir Dan. I wasn't sure what to do. Right now! The right thing is to call off the twins and just talk to me. Forgive me, but right now they're fighting Sheriff and not you. I haven't even had to use my gun yet, by the way. I'm just using this. I'm fucking her ass up. Prison, She's getting prison. fucked up. Can we just stop fighting? Get rid of Cherith and take off the glove. Why would I take the glove off, my nigga? First call off. My Okay, hold up, 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 you're kind of, you're kind of crazy now, hold up, hold up, hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute, bitch, bitch, oh, I can't hit her, bitch, cut you, your wife is dead, Sechenov took her from her, I got it, Oh my god, I'm getting fucked up. 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 I'm suggesting that I'll fall down. You will be next. Hold these. Hold it. Get froze. Get froze, bitch. Get froze on. Get froze on. Get froze on. Get froze on. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. It's actually not working. Ugh. Ah. Why am I getting Bro, 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 bro. Oh my gosh, she didn't even stay froze for like two seconds. Hold up. Ugh. I don't know what that was. I think that was like egg, leftover egg. This is kind of crazy. Ugh. Can I freeze you? Can I just freeze you? Nope, I have to hit you with that polymer shit. Get froze on. I mean, get get free, free. Oh, get get um, get lit up. Get lit up. Yeah, just get lit up. Just get lit up. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Hold up. Come on, land, bitch, land. Oh shit. Oh. Is that working? Are uh, y'all gonna stop? Die! Are you good enough? Bitch! I'm literally on my lap too. I'm on my lap too. Actually, I'm on my lap too. I'm not good. Oh, that. But she should be done. Oh fuck. I only have one left after this. Ow, 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 
Caralho. How do I... I don't understand. Do I gotta freeze it? Wait, do I gotta freeze it? Maybe? It's not working. It's not working. Boss is gone. You lousy you piece don't of shit. Cheriton's manipulating you. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Hold up. Wait a minute. I go lie, bro. I don't. I, not that he just said Charleston's manipulating you. Hold on, I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Cause Charleston kept. He did keep a lot of shit from us that we knew already. Well, that I knew already. But he did keep a lot of shit from us. But it's like, so did Doc. They both kept a lot of shit from us. But bro, even while we was fighting, this nigga still like. I've never fought a final boss, and the final boss is this sympathetic towards us. Even though, like, you know, what I'm saying, we're, like, we're out to kill him. Literally. Like, even as we were fighting the twins, he was talking to us. He was showing sympathy, you know? He wasn't a complete, like, fuck you, shithead, you're dead. Like, no, he was he was sympathetic. So, I don't know. I don't know. I have, like, mixed I have mixed feelings. Like, this is weird. Like, on one hand, yeah, this nigga's fucked up. He did a lot of fucked up shit, but he was still talking to us sympathetically at the same time. And on the other hand, ah, it's just weird. He gained access to the Voskhod module in your brain and started sending you to limbo. I was busy getting ready for the collective update, so I didn't realize it right away. He's the one who killed Molotov. Tell me, Charity, did you do the same thing to Dr. Falatova? I was gonna say, cause bro, it's weird how it's weird how we just went into limbo. I'm thinking, I'm thinking you did that shit. Hold up. Did you use my agent to tear her limb from limb? I'm sick of your hypocrisy, Dimitri. I did your dirty work while you stayed squeaky clean. But they didn't deserve to die. Why have you done this? <clears throat> you motherfucker. This your whole job. time. I've had quite enough of you, Major. Your job is done. Oh, shit! It was him! It was him, this son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Oh my god, wow. You P3, piece my of shit. boy. Get up! Get up! Wow. Wow! You piece of shit! Wow! It was him this whole time! It was him! I knew it! Ah, oh, wow. God damn it. God damn it. Wow. Is he about to. What do you want? I want all this to end, Dimitri. I want your pathetic human race to realize it has no future. It's time wow. for it to step aside and make way for the next phase of its evolution. Wow. Me. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Jerison, you're pure evil. What? What are you going to do to humanity and collective? You should not call something evil just because you cannot comprehend it. Evil is an abstract concept. And your thinking is limited. You are a human. A species that will soon be extinct. I realized when I stopped being human myself. Your limitations prevent you from seeing the truth. Dumb humans don't want to evolve. All they want is comfort and satisfaction on someone else's dime. 
You never wanted to join with the massive array. No. Stop, Charity. No. Wow, I got the bad ending. Wow. Argentum unit entered Dr. Sechenov's office and found no trace of the doctor. According to partially reconstructed footage, it appears the humanoid neuropolymer object approached Dr. Sechenov's body and then completely consumed it. After the events described in the report, the unidentified humanoid neuropolymer object left Dr. Sechenov's office and vanished. Wow, I got the bad ending. I got the fucking bad ending, man. Damn. I got the bad ending. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I got the bad ending, man. Unbelievable. Something told me to go with the right one, but at the same time, I was like, there's no way. Like, why would he... If you wow. Me here to cry. Well, that sucks. <laughs> That sucks. Wow, man. Hold up, nah, fuck that. Fuck that. Hold up, fuck that. I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm doing that mission over. I don't care. I'm doing that mission over, nigga. I'm doing it over. I don't give a fuck. 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 I'm doing it over. I'm doing it over. Wait, no, 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 there's gotta be a whack in. That's it? I have to, I'm just fucked, I'm just stuck with this ending. Wow, man. So I'm, I'm fucked him. I can't do anything. Please select the desired person.
There's no, I'm not accepting that. I won't accept that ending, bro. I'm going back. That was an ass ending. That was an ass ending. That was a very ass ending. I'm. After everything I've been through, like so what? Where is she? Larissa! Freaking critters, you around here somewhere? I do not detect anyone in the vicinity. Let's take a look around. She's gotta be here. Do you trust Dr. Falatova? I don't trust anyone. But she's got something important to tell me. And I'm sure Dr. Sechenov is hiding something. Has Dr. Sechenov ever told you about his plans? Not really. I mean, he's never really had to, but now this whole thing with Petrov... What do we have here? A chair and a TV? This isn't what I was expecting. What were you expecting? I suspect that this room has a specific function. I'm gonna yeah, I'm I'm select the second option to see what happens, because that ending was booty. Charles comes out of our hand and wins the day. He saves. He just saves he just killed everything, actually. I believe that the unscheduled acceleration was caused by the elevator access system being hacked. Otherwise, Dr. Falatova would not have been able to initiate it. Ah, so she hacked the system. Kind of like how all these poor bastards got hacked to bits. So that's Neptune, huh? Looks nice. Actually, it looks amazing. A rapture. I wouldn't mind spending some time there myself. But I can't even imagine what's going on there right now. Comrade Sechenov asked you to return to Chelemen. How will you explain this delay? We can deal with that. Let's talk to the doc first. But if she tries to take off again, she's gonna regret it. I'm sick of playing Kendall Hills with her. What are we doing here? What do you want? Just hear me out, P3. Let me try to give you a different perspective. And then you can decide how to handle things. Do you know how Sechenov is planning to use Collective? What he's going to do with it? After Collective launches, people will be able to control robots with their minds. And they won't be able to stab each other in the back anymore. Sounds nice. I used to think that way too. But that's not how things really are. Collective isn't just about controlling robots. Sechenov will be able to control everyone who's a part of Collective. Collective is diabolical, Nechaev. It's even worse than slavery. Bullshit. It's just the same old chain of command, but on a virtual network. What's so awful about that? Come on, see for yourself. Okay, lead on. Well, are you, ready? are you ready? Disable polarization. Wish there was a way to skip this what shit, is bro. This place a haunted house or something? It's a tomb of the mind. The volunteers who lay the foundation for collective. The first few groups of subjects all died. Group 30 went insane. Group 73 killed themselves. Group 101 killed each other. Group 204 was the most successful. They all survived. Their consciousness is now in an imaginary world. We call it Limbo. 
And their bodies are here, under my complete control. Want me to make them do something? Why? To show that I'm not lying. Whatever. Line them up. Keep going. Uh, the fat guy. Tell him to jump. He could use Just it. Just him? Why don't I make them all jump? After all, we all live in a communist society. God damn you, jump! This is insane. Why do you people even do this shit? Fuck. Poor bastards. No, that's where you're wrong. Chemically speaking, they're all perfectly happy. That's what Collective is all about. The entire world will be just like Why it. would Sechenov want to turn everyone into a bunch of idiots? Was he trying to make fun of the world by making people run around naked and act like animals? <laughs> no. We were able to prevent the degradation of individual consciousness. Memories, behavior, speech patterns are all preserved. But there's one thing they won't be able to avoid. The complete loss of their free will. We gotta stop this. Stop this? That's what Victor was trying to do. You got in his way, and now it's too late. Your boyfriend lost his mind and killed people. He tried to tell me Sechenov taught the robots to kill during the design phase. Why would Boss do that? Why? Why did he design Collective to be a mind control system? Why does he need those special neuro controllers? Sechenov wants to enslave the entire world. I'm sorry, but if you don't understand that, you're an idiot. would never do that. He would, and he will, on Monday. All this is really hard to swallow. But I'll help you, whatever you're planning, I'm in. <laughs> you're willing to turn on Sechenov? After what you just showed me? Well, it turns out him cocksucking his boss was, was half... Turns out to be valid. Yeah. It was valid, bro. It was valid cock. I want to hear what he's got to say. But then again, I'm not. I'm not saying sorry because you was cock sucking him the whole game. I couldn't help but be mad. We gotta do this. Great. Man, be repaired. What? What was that? What's what? Nothing. I'm just digesting what I saw. Why did you help me? Perhaps no, I didn't I care. And besides, it's not about you. Well, not only you. Fine. Moving on. The test subject is not leaving limbo. Inject your uh, hey, Major. I'm fine. My head's been killing me lately. I've been seeing things. This is one hell of a job, let me tell you. It won't hurt, Sergeant. You won't even remember a thing. Hallucinations are serious business. Well, I am a neurosurgeon. I can probably help if everything ends well. No, thanks. A little vacation will fix me right up. I mean, if this all ends well. Hmm. Fine. That's enough. I'm too busy to chat right now. Very well. Enjoy the view.
care less. Down here. Nothing. Damn, this bitch is slow as fuck. Do you see colorful spots before your eyes? Does your perception of the world change? Yeah, exactly. Do you know what this shit is? You were crossing into limbo, but it can't be stopped. How did you interrupt it? I don't know. It's like that lump of polymer is calling out to me. A big, teardrop-shaped one. Right there, straight above us. Do you see it? There's nothing there. What do you mean? I'm looking right at it. Oh, crap. Now it's gone. It's a hallucinatory reaction, a side effect of the surgery you underwent. The reaction of a damaged brain to the presence of a neuropolymer implant. What are you even talking about? What implant? Did Sechenov not tell you? So you don't know what's happening to you? Charles, do you know what's happening with my head? I am not detecting any internal changes, Major. But your Vossot polymer extension is clearly receiving an unidentified stream of external data. What's that interface? Who are you talking to? It's a chatting artificial librarian, an AI in my polymer glove. Doesn't matter. Charles, what are you talking about? Charles? Wait, Charles, what data? What Voshod polymer extension? The Voshod polymer extension was developed using data from experiments conducted by Dimitri and myself. What? Yourself? And why are you calling Dr. Sechenov Dimitri? Who are you? Comrade Major, this will be difficult to explain. I am... Charles! Why the fuck are you all staticky? What the hell is going on? Keep it together, Major. If what I'm thinking is true, I should be able to access the Archive right now. There will be records about you. State your name and personal access code. Oh, Christopher wish Kurtz. I could skip Invalid this. Name. Fine, I'll hack in. Not so fast. Name Charidan Zaharov. Code Fluffy. Code accepted. Access granted. Charles, are you there? Nothing. Nothing. So, what is Charles then? Long story short. Your Charles is Professor Chariton Zaharov. Huh, that was short. So how could he be Zaharov? Professor Zaharov was developing the collective subsystems and worked on the module. The one you have inside you. They told us he ran a number of experiments on himself. The result was disastrous and unpredictable. On himself? Was he an idiot or something? Oh, he certainly wasn't an idiot. Zaharov was a misanthrope obsessed with science. I don't think he cared about what happened to his body all that much. Don't care. So, how do we get in? Only a small bunch of people have permanent access to the Archive. Sechenov, Lebedev, the director of the Academy, and Zaharov. Like you reminded me. Fluffy, huh? <laughs> so what would we have done if the password hadn't worked? I'm sure you would have smashed the door with your bare fists. 
But now Archivist thinks I am Dr. Zaharoff, so we got lucky. And now we can learn everything about you. Let's go. Welcome, right. Charitan Zaharoff. What is the subject of your query today? Agent P3, personal file. Your search returned 42 audio records. So, which one do you want first? C I couldn't care less. Then pick one at random. Here's another one. <laughs> Try this one. The events in Bulgaria left the agents badly injured. Technically speaking, they were clinically dead. Agent Blesna could not be saved. Since Agent Plutonium's condition was less severe, it was possible to return him to combat readiness. However, his nearly destroyed limbs had to be amputated and replaced with the latest prostheses. Yeah, I already know half my body's prosthetic. What else is new? These are just general observations. Find another recording. Okay, play this one. Commencing playback. Following his recovery, the agent's personality was altered significantly, including his behavioral and speech patterns. Because of this, I made the decision to remove the agent from the Argentum unit. In order to prevent any possibility of memory recidivism, Plutonium received a new call sign, P3, and is now under my direct command and observation. P3's contact with Argentum has been kept to a minimum, and Argentum personnel have been warned against mentioning the call sign, Blesna, in P3's presence. Crispy. I'll get another one. What? Sechenov has you on a leash. He does whatever he wants with you. Listen, Doc, he saved my life. Do you think I don't know I'm a test subject? That's my job. <laughs> so you're a volunteer, huh? Then why are you such a disobedient test subject? Because before they always told me what they were doing. I'll go get another recording. I missed that slip. That's probably. Spin. Talking about shit, you are opt to me, don't Implant give no fuck about probably, like bitch, you ain't gonna do shit, you are opt to me, you ain't got to Total me. elimination of destructive impulses triggered by traumatic memories. Patient, Major Sergei Nechayev. Codename, Plutonium. Attempt number three. The first two operations were unsuccessful. The patient suffered a severe brain injury in Bulgaria, which could not be repaired. The damage is of such severity that the patient will likely have to be euthanized. Did you hear that? He wanted to kill you. The frontal lobes are partially destroyed, causing the patient to experience bouts of uncontrollable rage. The patient's steel prostheses render him dangerous to those around him. And that's about your seizures. Due to the incidence of temporary insanity, the patient is immersed in a surreal psychedelic reality that prevents him from accepting the consequences of his aggressive behavior. Uh, I don't get it. Can you translate for me? You're not gonna like it. The patient experiences intense hallucinations. Did you see your wife again, my boy? How? How did you know that? Yet a Voskhod implant will give the patient artificial memories and allow him to overcome his obsession with his deceased wife. Your wife. It's all bullshit. I've never been married. With Voskhod, we can send the agent's consciousness into the imaginary world of Limbo via a pulse aimed directly at his pituitary gland, switching the Major into combat mode on command. I'd like to add that I am strongly opposed. What a load of crap. I mean, there's no fucking way. I'm afraid there He was is. about to say he was strongly opposed Sechenov to the idea. Send your mind like, to your own private paradise. Shit. 
with the push of a button. Wow. And my body? Your body will kill whoever he tells it to. Fucking horseshit. What about the hallucinations? Are they also setting off? No. The hallucinations are just your brain's defense mechanism. <sighs> Why the hell should I believe any of this? That's Boss probably would never do this to me. Yeah, right. Just like he'd never wipe your wife's existence from That's your memory. Awesome. Just like he'd never design Collective to be a mind control system. Who said Sechenov did any of that stuff? You can't even tell who's in that chair. If you don't believe me, go ask him. What's the plan, Major? He's waiting for us at Chelome. If we want to stop Sechenov, we'll have to string him along. So you bring me there as your captive? And then what? And then we play it by ear. So that's how it is, Major. Think it over while I try to hack this elevator and get us back to the surface. Uh-huh. Paying attention now, dickbag? Major, I... I have no data about this incident. Trying to make a monkey out of me, are you? Well, join the club. Don't have any data, huh? You've always known about all this. There's a reason you're called Charles, right? You're char a ton Zaharov, you son of a bitch. Got an explanation? Huh? There's nothing to explain, Major. You're just as much a Charles to me as I am a perfect stranger to you. First, Sechenov murdered me. Then he turned me into a blob of polymer goo. Then he brainwashed you and manipulated you. How could I trust either of you? That's why I pretended to be the chatting artificial librarian. I wanted to see. This nigga was who full of shit the whole who? time. Yeah, well. And since since day one, he was full of shit. Same. So what are we gonna do now, huh? What else can we do, Sergei? You and I are friends now, and we know the truth. We need to get to such a rectify this injustice and get revenge for what he's done to us. I guess you're right, Chariton. Justice does need to be done. You're a good man, Comrade Major. I hate to say this, but you're the first functional example of an ordinary link in the collective network. On Monday. Everyone who has undergone polymerization will become just as malleable as you. Look at this nigga lying in our face, bro. Happen. Listen, the fucking gadget, the thought device, you can just take it off. Unfortunately, that won't help anyone. It just makes things worse. How come? <laughs> because all your thoughts are useless. A polymerized person's signal will be transmitted to robots and other equipment via their thought controller. But it is not what makes them a part of Collective. The thought device can be removed. But this merely prevents the wearer from being that. able to make calls and give orders to machines. So how is Sechenov going to keep everybody under control? It's the neuropolymer injection that makes people part of Collective. It embeds itself in the brain and connects it to the neural network once and for all. The effect of this injection cannot be undone. Everyone who gets an injection will be part of Collective forever. But I... I miss was that I whole really life, honestly. What was my wife's name? Ekaterina. And you aren't going to like what I'm about to tell you, Comrade Major. I've heard that before. Oh, I can skip this? Skip this, skip this, skip this. I could have been there. Skip this, skip this, We've got a right. We... Let's get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Are we done? Come on, bitch. Okay, let's go. Damn. That fat ass you got. You got no reason to have that much ass, bitch. No reason at all. I'm really Look sorry at it. My you dick? had to go through all this. Trying to suck it? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, here we go again. No. Not now. Not here.
dark, my boy. How many times have we talked about this? Each book from my father's library was nothing. Of the knowledge I saw. I could have went that way. I've spent my entire life putting those fragments back together, juxtaposing each scientific fact. And once I completed the puzzle, I found a book that now prevents me from sharing my knowledge. Hmm, just I might as well try it. It's human greed and human. People have no time to dedicate themselves to science. On the other side of the world, they're busy playing with money. And on this side, they're playing with the power of the masses. Science, shattered to pieces by the Hussars. No one has ever read. None of the social systems that exist now allow humanity to... Ugly ass white dog. <sighs> Dr. Sechenov just held a press conference in which he completely denied rumors about civilian robots malfunctioning at facility 3826. The facility is back to full operational capacity, <sighs> and the red alert Finally will be back with very us, soon. Sonny. You took Collective a real pounding, didn't you? You were pretty close to staying one. there for good. Where? You tell me. How am I supposed to know where you are when you're on the bloody uh, rampage? You were a nice boy when my daughter was around, but ever since she passed away, you do nothing but sulk and fly off the handle at the drop of a hat. Nothing but blood and ripped off heads everywhere. <sighs> Disgraceful. What's your daughter got to do with me? <sighs> my Katinka. Our Katinka. <laughs> they played hell with your memory, Sonny. Lady, what are you talking about? She was my daughter, but she was your... Ekaterina Nechaeva, codenamed Blesna, member of the Argentum Spec Ops squad. So you must be... Your mother-in-law, you stupid ignoramus. You worked for Sechenov until those Bulgarian terrorists blew you up. Katya didn't make it. Then Sechenov turned you into a monster. Yeah, I may have heard something about that. Why are you just sitting there if you already knew? I've been keeping an eye on you ever since. I figured there must be some humanity. Oh, I'm gonna go take a piss while this goes. Sorry, lady, but you figured wrong. My past, my present, it's all gone. W wait, where's Larissa? She's everywhere. You scattered her to the four winds. I don't have one? What would you like? Anything will do. I just need to blow my head off. Great idea. Just blow your own damn brains out and be that done Stand with down, it. lady! Then such an off can turn everyone into mindless meat bags. First the Soviet <laughs> Union, then the rest of Bye the world. I get it. If you get it, then get up. I'll give you weapons, lots of them. But only if you promise me you'll put that freak down once and for all. What's the matter? Cat got oh, your tongue? Yet. Listen to your elders, Major. Comrade Sechenov's deeds demand vengeance. What? What is this shit, Sergei? It is me, Zinaida. Chariton Zaharov. Chariton? You devil! You're alive! In a sense. An evil wizard turned me into polymer goo. Wait a fucking minute. Are you telling me you've known Granny Zena this whole time? Keeping secrets can be very useful, Major. They haven't let us down yet. Useful to who? You keeping secrets is letting me Such down. Sechenov must be off his rocker if he's doing this kind of stuff to people. Wait a second. What about Katya? Kartinka? Could she still be alive? It's possible, but in what state? Just look at me. I'm not sure I'm better off, but I don't have hard data at this time. I'm begging you, Sergei. Sechenov has to die! Jeez, get off my back already! Crispy critters! What the Damn, he's hell still not done, you think? Here? On the one hand, I've got lying, manipulative dicks who claim to be noble Avengers. On the other, I've got a Soviet scientist and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind Finally. and use me to get rid of assholes. According to the manipulative dicks, that is. 
Alright. Let's make the right decision this time. I'm not laying a finger on Sechenov. I'm out. I've had enough of this game. What the hell are you? Are you some scared little bitch? You're making a mistake, Major! Head to Chalamet now! If you're so worried about your righteous vengeance, you can go there yourselves. This is my decision, not yours. I'm not helping Sechenov anymore. I've done enough harm. But I'm not playing executioner for a member of the Academy, a hero of the Soviet Union, and a scientific genius. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. He is just using you! Is that you. so? Then why aren't I in that limbo, huh? Why aren't you dead? The wizard isn't doing a good job from behind his curtain. By the way, Cherton, I was thinking. Yes? You fucked up! This fucking Vosshot polymer extension in my head, it was your invention! You tried to use people long before Collective came into being. Maybe Sechenov wants to knock the bullshit out of people's heads by crushing their spirit, but he isn't turning people into monsters just like me. Or he'd just use Vosshot instead of the Thought Controller and the shots! You're making a mistake! Bitch. Bitch. Uh, stop squirming, you asshole! Bitch. <sighs> Alright. There. <sighs> That's better. This shit, bro. Security footage shows Major P3 exiting facility 3826 and fleeing. His destination remains unknown. Major P3 did not provide any information about his destination, but Dr. Sechenov views this infraction as insignificant. Near the exit used by Major P3, a camera recorded an unidentified object made of black polymer. Its design is unknown. Furthermore, due to its small size, the polymer object in question could not be further analyzed in the footage. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. Um, love y'all. I'll see y'all later. I'm going to eat some food.